overflowing ministry that brought mighty revival in the Middle East, Dubai, and still continues to overflow, imparting love, life, and life in abundance in Christ Jesus to great multitudes in many nations. Jesus loves you. He's always there for you. He's Emmanuel, God with us. Your God is our Heavenly Father. He will never leave us, never forsake us. Matthew 28, verse 20. Joshua 1, verse 9. Wherever we are, He is there with us. Such a loving Father. No matter who you are, He loves you, loves you, loves you. You can come to him. It's a love that is without any condition. No condemnation. No condition. No questions. He just loves you. He is full of love. God himself is love. He loves you. And as I humbly come to you with my precious dear wife, Swanti, our precious dear one and only daughter, Divina, from King's Revival Church International UK to all of you and worldwide, and the message is Jesus Christ. The word is Jesus Christ. 
and I come to the cross where the Holy Spirit meets me, washes me, cleanses me with the blood of Jesus, whiter than snow. And then Holy Spirit takes the word from Jesus and gives to me to give to you and to all. He loves you, loves you, loves you. There is one love that will never let you down, the love of Jesus. It's new every morning. Something new is going to happen. Something everlasting is going to take place. Something that gives you peace and joy and an inner serenity in life. It's there for you. It doesn't come along with silver and gold and money. It comes from the Holy Spirit. He loves you. Therefore, we will just wait. Nothing in my hands I bring Simply to the cross I cling Naked come to thee for dress Helpless look to thee for grace Rock of ages cleft for me let me hide myself in thee. Jesus loves you. He will hold you, embrace you, wipe away all your tears, your pain, your agony. He loves you. One day Jesus went into a synagogue on a Sabbath day, 2,000 years ago on this earth, as God came as a man, to save us all, even today he saves us, risen from the dead, ascended to the right hand of the Father, having defeated Satan and death and hell and curse. He has given us victory and life. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, saving us even now until rapture and eternal to the utmost. Hebrews 7 verse 25. How do you see give the victory through the Holy Spirit. How does he give life and life in abundance? Through the Holy Spirit. He takes from Jesus and gives to us. John 16, verse 14 and 15. Holy Spirit takes from Jesus and gives to us. He will do it right now. Yes, he loves you, loves you, loves you. My loving children, he loves you. Jesus on a Sabbath day, Sabbath means man doesn't do anything. Everything he trusts God to do it. For us, every moment must be a Sabbath. Our trust must be Jesus. Our hope must be Jesus. Our faith must be Jesus. Just believe like a little child. Just believe like a little child. Jesus said, let us become like little children. We will enter into the kingdom of God. Why? God is our Father. He is our Father. Do not fear. Romans 8 verse 15. God is our Father. Call him Abba, Father. In a few moments we will take the Lord's table, thinking of his blood, his blood, that washes us, saves us even today now, and makes us the children of God, that God is Father. Call him Father. Call him Abba, Father. The blood will be on your side. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will be on your side, protecting you, protecting your family, your household, everything for you, your workplace, your health. Fear not, fear not, fear not, my little children. Luke 12, verse number 32. Fear not, it's your father's good pleasure to give you his kingdom. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Dear children, let us rest in Jesus, trust in Jesus, trust in Jesus, trust in Jesus, and let him do it for us. That Sabbath, every moment of our life, not just one particular day, every moment of our life. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you. He is here today. Oh, the Holy Spirit now itself gives me a name, Marcus, Marcus, you are going to receive your miracle. Shelton, 
you are going to receive your miracle. I don't know who you are, dear ones. Holy Spirit knows. Uh, this message is reaching to these people. I don't know where they are. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Now, there was a man in that crowd whose right hand was withered, withered. What an agony in life. What a pathetic state in life. Your whole body is all right, but your right hand is withered. That which you need most, your entire livelihood depends on our right hand, what we do. Many of us eat and write and work with our right hand. If the right hand is withered, withered means it's gone. No strength, no life, nothing. It's a wasted organ, wasted organ. And that affects the other organs as well. Your life becomes a wasted life. No more hope, my loving children. Maybe your faith is withered. Maybe your hope is withered. No strength. You feel lifeless. You feel helpless. You feel everything is gone and lost. The dirty, defeated, defeated devil makes you think like that. But Jesus will make all things new. He is your father, your savior, your savior. He is saving your future. He is saving your home. He is saving your child, your children, all of us. He is saving your finance. He is saving what you do. He is a saving savior at work even now. He is the saving savior at work even now. Just trust him. Just trust him. Rest in him. Oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you. My loving children, here is a man seated in the church. He, he, he could have been elsewhere, but he chose to be in the church. He loves you. That is the house of God is your resting place. The house of God is your resting place. The word of God is your shelter and your hope and your life. The spirit of God is the very power and life. The blood of Jesus is our victory all our life. Oh, until rapture and eternal. Rejoice, rejoice. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. It's going to happen right now, right now. It's happening right now. Holy Spirit is already pouring in and bringing from Jesus life and life to your soul, your spirit, your body. You feel hopeless and helpless. Yes, you will go with joy and peace and hope and faith and victory. He's doing it for you. He's doing it for you. All your mental fears of curses and magics, all is washed away by the blood of Jesus. Galatians 3, 13, 14. No more death, no more curse. Hebrews 2, 9. Hebrews 2, 14, 15. Colossians 2, 14, 15. 1 John 3, 8. 1 Peter 3, 22, rejoice, rejoice. He gives you life, life, life in abundance. Lift your hands and receive, lift your hands and receive. John 10, 10, and long life, well satisfied with salvation. Receive, receive. Psalm 91, 16, it's not the words of the dear doctors or any man. It's the words of the living God, our Savior, Jesus. Jesus, oh, thank you, Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He is doing it for you. Every defeated ailment in the head and the pain in the heads are leaving. Every defeated awful headaches and sneezing is leaving. Every defeated itching and skin rashes are leaving. Discoloring of skin and pigmentations are leaving. Every defeated ailment, gum boils, boils in your gum, in your tongue is leaving. Every defeated tumors and lumps are leaving. Holy Spirit is coming as a fire, as a fire, hallelujah, from heaven. When Elijah prayed at Mount Carmel, holy fire came from heaven. It's coming into you now, burning away every work of the defeat, the devil, every worry, fear, discouragement is washed out, burnt by the holy fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, the son of the living God. Every defeated ailment in your stomach, in your stomach, boils and bulging and in 
indigestion and gastricide is all getting washed away by the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus rise and receive rise and receive or kneel down and receive or lift your hands and receive he is doing it he is doing it it's his day his work his moment hallelujah hallelujah he loves you loves you loves you loves you thank you Jesus thank you thank you thank you thank you Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He is doing it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Arthur, he is doing it for you. Thank you, Jesus. Beatrice is doing it for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Every defeated ailment in the head, in the back of the head is going away. In the neck is going away. Every defeated spinal pains and paralysis and rheumatism, arthritis, oh, it's all being washed away by the Holy Spirit spirit and the blood of Jesus. You will feel strong in your body, in your spirit, in your mind. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And your life is not withered when Jesus is there. Your life will not be withered. Your home, your child, your children, nothing. Everywhere there shall be life, life in abundance now. Jesus, Jesus has come. He came into that synagogue and he saw this man of course, he was moved with compassion. He was moved with G love. That is Jesus. That is Jesus. If it is any man or woman of God, they will f want to find reasons and give excuses and reasons and find and scare the people oh, or trouble their minds with fear. Jesus says, it's I, be not afraid. Every word of Jesus is be not afraid. Every word of Jesus is fear not, fear not, fear not. That's the love. That's the love. That's the mighty power of Jesus. He is the risen Savior. Oh, he has defeated death and hell and curse and Satan. Believe. That's what the Bible says. Don't believe any man or woman of God who says other than that. He loves you, Jesus. He is risen my loving children. And Jesus saw this man and he said, stand forth in the midst. He was preparing him for the miracle. He, was, he is preparing you and me and all for the miracle. He said, stand forth in the midst. Many saw him. They would have just forgotten him. He was the most insignificant person in that church. You could be that one. If you have money and show, they will all rally around you. Uh, if you have parties and show and, and barbecues and banquets in churches, oh, all this will be known at the day of rapture, my loving children. Oh, that's why we have to be very careful, my loving great children. It's not eat and drink, Holy Spirit says, Romans 14, 17, but peace, joy and righteousness in Christ Jesus. Oh, he's preparing a pure church, a bride, a true bride for Jesus. He loves you. He condemns no one. He judges no one now, but it will be there one day. We shall not be there. We shall be the true bride, all of us cleansed by the blood of Jesus, even now. Cleansed. Cleanse me, Lord. Cleanse me. Cleanse us all by your blood, whiter than snow, to be like you, to talk like you, to live like you, to minister like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, your behavior in office, at home, in church, all must be the same. Like Jesus, like Jesus, humble, loving, kind, pure. Oh, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Beloved ones, he loves you, everyone. He'll be now. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Anyone, receive your miracle. This is your moment. This is your moment. He says, stands forth in the midst. He told him. That man stood forth. He just, the words of Jesus is power. The words of Jesus is love. The words of Jesus is compassion. The words of Jesus is grace. The words of Jesus is mercy. The words of Jesus is life. So the words of Jesus, when it went into his ears and brains and senses, he just stood up. This is love. This is love. This is compassion. When a loving man tells you something, you will do it. When someone tells you rudely or roughly, or you will be reluctant. When it is told with love and grace and mercy, you will do it. He told, stretch forth your hand, rise. Rise in the midst, stand. That's love of Jesus. He heard that love. 
People were all there in that church, but hardly anyone recognized him because he had no money. Jesus is the only one who will call out for you when you have nothing in life. He's the only one who will look out for you when you have nothing in life. He is the Son of the living God, risen Savior. He will save you today. He will save your life, your future, your child, your children, all of us until rapture and eternal. He will save your health, your finance. Rejoice, rejoice. Your miracle is just there. He has come already. He loves you. Stand forth in the midst, which means don't feel shy. Don't feel shy. The Bible says we shall never be put to shame. Isaiah 54, 4. Oh, 2 Timothy, first chapter, verse 12. Because we believe in Jesus. What we have handed over to Jesus, he will preserve. And for that cause, Paul says, I know I will never be put to shame. Hallelujah. He believed in Jesus, Paul, the greatest apostle next to Jesus. Who are we? We are nothing. Believe in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. He loves you, loves you, loves you. You will never be put to shame. Your child, your children, your home, all of us never will be put to shame. Isaiah 54, 4. He loves you. Oh, until rapture and eternal. My dear children, just love Jesus. Just do what he says. Just do what he says. This man stood up. It was such a sight. He had no hand, withered hand. He would have looked ugly, ugly in the sight of many people. Doesn't matter. It's just for a moment. The miracle is just there. Your home is going to be made beautiful in Christ Jesus. Your personal life is going to be made beautiful in Christ Jesus. What you do is going to bear fruit and be beautiful in the sight of Jesus Christ. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Just stand in the midst, which means just you believe in the midst of all your troubles, in the midst of all your struggles, in the midst of such hopeless situations, in your health or in your family or in your office or in your business. Oh, it doesn't matter in the midst of all that. You believe in Christ Jesus. You believe in the one who loves you. You believe in the one who shed his blood for you and rose from the dead. He loves you, loves you, loves you. We are doing a lot of ministry already has started in UK. Mighty ministry here. They hardly hear the message of love, love, compassion. They hardly. And miracles, signs, wonders, immediate testimonies, very rare, very few ministries operate in that. So they, when they see our ministry, they love this ministry. They have heard about us so much and they invite us. And when we go and minister just the love of Jesus, the great Holy Spirit comes, heals, saves, delivers with immediate testimonies, miracles, healings. And they say, the dear servants of God have already begun to say, this is a unique ministry, unique ministry. No big shouting and noise and big uh, movements on the stage and drama on the stage. No. With all love to any ministry, just the preaching of the love gospel of Jesus and the great Holy Spirit comes and people in the congregations are saved, healed, delivered, miracles, signs, wonders. They are all testifying on the stage. What a saviour we have. He is the saving saviour even today. Holy Spirit tells me your ears are being healed. Your ears are being opened. Your ears are being healed. Receive, receive, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. He loves you, loves you, loves you. One girl testified just last week, last work week in UK. She works in an office. Her left leg, her knee, her knee in the left leg was so painful and swelling and such a pain she could hardly walk. And with great pain she drove the car. And she said the day, day before she had to climb up stairs to her office. She couldn't. She almost crawled on the, on the staircase. With acute pain she came for the 
Miracle Life Healing Service just last week. Lo and behold, I didn't know anything. I didn't know. Holy Spirit knows everything. Holy Spirit came upon her in Jesus' name. Jesus baptized her with the Holy Spirit and his love is love. And she was instantly healed. She jumped up and moved her leg. And, uh, because the Holy Spirit told me there is a person. He is healing on the left leg, in the knees, in the knees, on the left leg. And she came and testified. She was one of those, one of those who testified. Instantly I am healed. The leg, my leg is moving without pain, no pain. She jumped, she moved her leg. Why I tell you this? In the midst of all your pain, you believe in Jesus, not in any man or woman of God. Believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ. He deserves all our praises and glory and honor. He does it for us. Even on a Sabbath day, Sabbath moment, every moment is Sabbath for us. He does it. We trust him and we receive him. Hallelujah. She was healed. She was so delighted, praising Jesus, praising, giving him the glory. My loving children, even in the midst of your pain, you believe in Jesus. Begin to thank him, begin to thank him and praise him. Before the miracle, before the miracle, I have always told you this. I have always preached this. Before the miracle, before the miracle, praise him and praise him and praise him for the blood he shed for us. He died, he rose from the dead with his body, defeated sin and death and hell and curse and Satan and all darkness. That's why we celebrate and take the Lord's table with joy of victory. No matter what the dear doctors say, no matter who says what, what Jesus says alone will take place in our life. He said, I have come that you shall have life and have it in abundance. He loves you, loves you, loves you. That is your moment now, miracle moment. He loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He loves you. Charlotte, he loves you, loves you, loves you. He loves you. Anyone. Sometimes the Holy Spirit gives names. He loves you, loves you, loves you. My dear children, and as we come to him now, he's pouring his power. He, Jesus told that man, now stretch forth your right hand, the same hand that had no life, the same hand that looked ugly, that same hand that had no strength, Jesus said, stretch forth that hand. You may say, how can he stretch forth? He has no life in that, no strength, no blood, no bones, no muscles. Jesus said, stretch forth that hand. That's the power of his word. That's the power of his love. That's the power of his compassion. That's the power of his mercy. Don't doubt that. Don't doubt that. That's the power of his Holy Spirit. Jesus was filled to overflow in the Holy Spirit, John 3, 34, Acts 10, verse 38. And the power of the word in the Holy Spirit and the love of Jesus went through every bone, cell, nerve, muscle, blood. It's doing now for you. How many such miracles have happened in our ministry? You all know it, some of you, most of you. It's all in our magazines. It's all in our magazines. Signs, wonders, miracles in television programs, YouTube, Facebook. See all this. Your faith will rise. Your faith in Christ will rise. Oh, beloved ones, this is a miracle of the love of Jesus, compassion of Jesus, and the mighty power of the Holy Spirit. Not asking for money and silver and gold and show and dramas on the stage. No, just Jesus. He preaches his love and the power of the Holy Spirit heals, delivers, saves, gives life, life. Testimonies come immediately, immediately. The blind see, the deaf hear, the dumb will speak, the lame will walk, the dead will rise. All sins will be washed away. Saved, saved with no condemnation, no condemnation, no judgment. He heals your eyes, he heals your eyes. Receive, receive, receive. Place your hands on your eyes if you wish. Receive, receive, receive. He heals your stomach, your stomach. Receive, receive, rise and receive. Or whatever you want to do, but receive. Believe Jesus, believe Jesus, believe Jesus. Give him the glory, give him the praise. 
Every defeat and spinal ache, back pains are leaving. Every paralysis and joint pains are leaving in your hands, in your shoulders. Every defeat and headaches, heavy headaches and, and sneezing, sneezing is leaving now. Fear not, fear not, fear not. Jesus gives life, 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 life. Oh, he loves you. Every dryness, dryness in your mouth is leaving now. He is healing your saliva. Hallelujah. He's healing your teeth, your gums. He's healing your skin. He's healing you everywhere. He's saving your life. He's saving your life, your soul, your soul. Every sin is washed. He never condemns. He never condemns. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. He's your father. He's your savior. He gives life. You will not die. We will not die, but live until rapture with our child and generation, your children and generation, or in whatever way you are. Noeline, Noeline, receive, 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 receive. Hallelujah. Until rapture and eternal. Fear not. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Caroline, he loves you, loves you. Herbert, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Randall, he loves you, loves you, loves you. I don't know who these people are, but this message, these electronic waves are taking this word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit to these people somewhere. And they are receiving their years miracle. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Receive, 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 receive. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he is doing it for you and for me and for all. He stretched forth that hand, that man. That right hand became whole. The right hand became whole just like the other hand. Fully healed, fully beautiful, fully with life. No more ugliness. No more weakness. No more death. No more curse. No more failures, no more sin, even a desire to sin. He loves you, loves you, loves you, loves you. He is healing you, saving you, giving you life, life, life. Your child will speak, receive, 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 receive. Your child will live, receive, receive, receive. Every mental agony is leaving. Every mental trauma for parents are leaving now. Believe, believe, he loves you, loves you, loves you. Lawrence, Lawrence, he heals you. Believe, 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 believe. William, William, he heals you. Thank you, David. He heals you, heals you. Jesus, the healer, the life giver. He is our life. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Holy Spirit takes from Jesus and gives to us. Your home is going to be blessed with peace, joy, protection. All of us. And life in abundance, eternal, eternal. Victorious until rapture and eternal. Holy Spirit takes from Jesus and gives to us, gives to us. We need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. We need the Holy Spirit. Without him, we can do nothing, the Bible says. That man was made whole, fully saved, fully healed. He was rejoicing. Jesus will do it for you. Jesus will do it for you. Everywhere, your thighs, your thighs, your hips, your back, your waist is healed. Your pain in the thighs are going away. Receive, move your bodies. Yes, he's healing you. He's healing you. Wilma, he's healing you, healing you. Receive, fear not, the past is over. The past is over. The past is over. Jesus is filling you now. The Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tonight, this afternoon is a miracle afternoon, miracle evening, miracle night, miracle moments. Receive, receive, receive from Jesus. Life in abundance, well protected for all of us until rapture and eternal. For two minutes, I'm just going to wait. And then we are going to ask the Holy Spirit. We are going to ask the Holy Spirit. How are we going to ask him? We are going to say, we need you, Lord. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Holy Spirit. We need you, Father. Just tell him you need him, him and him alone. You will see what happens. Oh, the loving Jesus, Savior, Lord. Two minutes. We will ask him. The great Holy Spirit will come. He will perfect everything. He will perfect everything in your spirit, soul, body, mind, home, child, children, finance, job, future, business, everything. Priscilla, receive it, Priscilla. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Two minutes. We will need the Holy Spirit.
in all humility, in the love of Jesus. Testify, testify, check your bodies, check your bodies. Testify what the Lord has done for you. Send your testimonies to us, send your testimonies. We will praise and praise and give Jesus the glory and the praise and the honor. It's all to Him and Him alone. We are nothing, we are nothing. Every Sunday morning and afternoon, attend the services practically. As much as possible, bring new people, new people, those who are in tears, in pain. This ministry, as I announced earlier also, has always been a ministry to wipe the tears, tears of broken people, spiritually and practically. All over the world, we are so loved and sought after. And you know, this ministry has always been one of the prime, prime visions is to help the widows, destitutes, orphans, strangers, helpless, servants of God in many nations. How much the Lord, the Lord has helped through this ministry. We are one of the very few ministries, God bless every ministry. We are one of the very few who continually, continually do this in spite of many difficult situations and many servants of God, many parts of the world, even now. So, my loving children, we have to do more. We have to do greater works, greater works. John 14, 12, Galatians 6, 2. To bear the burdens of others in the mighty power of the Holy Spirit until rapture and eternal. So bring new people, those who are in tears, those who are in pain. Their tears will be wiped away, wiped away. We are on YouTube, Facebook, Friday night, Sunday night, and every other day, every day. So. We'll see you again and I am always there with my precious family to oversee and take care of this ministry. Always overseeing, guiding and taking care of this ministry until rapture. This is what the Lord gave us and we will do it depending on Him and Him alone. Oh, we love you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. See you again. See you again. Always until rapture and eternal. We have greater works to do until rapture and eternal. See you again, see you again, Jesus loves you.